Welcome back to another episode of Bulldog TV. I'm Marilyn. And I'm V. On this episode of Bulldog TV, we have a new storyteller session on esports and more. Bulldog TV starts now. When COVID-19 started to calm down in the United States, it unfortunately picked up in the Marshall Islands. Producers Eunice, Elizabeth, and I talk about how the Marshall Islands were impacted. Since the last big wave of COVID in January 2022, the pandemic has slowed down in Arkansas. However, it doesn't mean that it still isn't impacting our families, especially our Marshallese community. Family and friends in the Marshall Islands has gone through their first breakout. When there's an outbreak in the Marshall Islands or any kind of disease issue, we go into what's called a state of health emergency. As many people know, on August 8th, we discovered our first uh, COVID case. And it was a pretty scary, shocking event because we knew that as health officials, we would be under a lot of stress and strain. And this was going to take quite some time for us to, to battle this. From the Marshall Islands, the Secretary of Health and Human services, Jack, will explain to us what they are doing to control it. We're going to give them a lot of Paxlovid, which is the drug that really has helped us a lot here in the Marshall Islands to keep people from dying and getting seriously sick and winding up in the hospital. So we're sending supplies of uh, Paxlovid and other drugs to the outer islands. And also we're sending a team with nurse practitioners, typically sometimes a doctor, to train the health aides on the outer islands on how to deal with COVID. It's not that difficult. We have been practicing this for two years. Everybody cooperated, the government, the Ministry of Health, the National Disaster Committee, the community, everybody cooperated and we got this done. They said we've had the best response to COVID in the world. The RMI counselor from Sunda, Arkansas, Eldon Aluk, will explain to us how they are helping from Sunda, Arkansas. We collected a lot of PPs from our local businesses here and our local corporations and you know just just people in general. Everybody, we we put out a, a Facebook page telling everybody that you know if they have any anything that they want to contribute. A lot of people showed up. Like I said, we we sent 45 pallets, a 40 foot container full of our hand sanitizers and masks and you know all the PPs that they are needing over there. Fortunately, they have opened the border back in the Marshall Islands and life is getting back to normal. However, COVID is never fully gone. <laughs> We are glad to hear that the Marshall Islands are doing better. Remember, the best way to keep from getting COVID and spreading it is by getting the vaccine. Just a reminder that tutoring is also available in the library Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday before school, 725 and 825, and after school, 405 to 530. Don't wait until the last minute to get help with tutoring. The last day of tutoring this semester will be December 8th. Ms. Brewster's art class made masks from scratch, which represented the elements. The students had to first sketch two designs, um, and so they were including at least one of the four elements, so earth, fire, water, um, and air, and then they chose one of their designs to create. So. I have two separate designs. Here's a cat sketch, and then here is a um, fire dragon. And uh, what we're doing for art is uh, we're making mask, and this is a sketch for uh, each element. So this is fire, water, and then when you cut it out, you gotta pick one of them. So I picked fire, and uh, this the mask is not done. It's in the process. They were displayed at the rotunda during Spanish Heritage Month. Spear Bulldogs are taking clothes and change donations through advisory for Christmas clothing drive. Through December 9th, clean out those closets and bring your gently used clothes, coats, and hat, gloves, hats, and scarves. We will also be taking change donations to purchase new socks and underwear to be given away to our own students also. Winning advisory when the most money and items donated will win a pizza party for lunch. To our own students with clothing and new socks and underwear this holiday season. You better donate all those unused winter clothes uh, so everybody can stay warm. That's right. And we'll be right back after this short break. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. 
That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Goodbye, guessing. Hello, confidence. So long, stress. Hello, security. Farewell, running to the bank. Hello, banking from anywhere. Get a quick view of your balance, lock lost debit cards, and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with the highly rated Arvest Go mobile app from Arvest Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Pam Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important. You are welcome here. One of the activities at school is an esports team. Not only is it a competitive team, but it's also an elective you can sign up for it. Being in the esports program, we help your critical thinking out and we help out your uh, situational awareness. We look at different tactics and strategies on how to beat opponents, especially opponents that are superior than you. Uh, we find the best ways to play uh, against certain opponents. And just like any other sport, it's, there's a strategy involved in it. And we try to break that down into a way that everyone can do. And we practice those strategies just like in football or just like in any other sport. If you're interested in joining the eSports competitive team, make sure to stop by Mr. Chen's at Room 300. Medical Academy is sponsoring its first blood drive of the year next Friday, December 9th. Come help us save a life. Every donation we get can save up to three lives and all the blood donations stay right here in Northwest Arkansas, benefiting the local area hospitals. Find our table to sign up every day during both lunches or see Mr. Mills in room 711 for more details. If you're 16 or older, you can give blood and we all need the help we can get. Everyone who gives will get free snacks, a free t-shirt and be put into a drawing for a thousand dollar gas card. Come give blood and help our community. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have a twin? Well, we welcome the two twins about to talk to, about their experiences with their brothers and their noticeable similarities. Hi, my name is Ivan. And I'm Sebastian. Oh, he was born first. Yeah, I was born like eight minutes before he was. So like I was waiting, uh, waiting for him to get out of the womb. So like, you know, all that. It was a nice eight minutes. So peaceful. Yeah, so, pe so peaceful for me and so peaceful for him until we both, you know. It's like having a sibling who's like in the same grade who looks just like you, but the downside is like everyone mistakes you for your twin. Like, sometimes I get called Sebastian, and sometimes he gets called Ivan, and it's like, it's annoying, but also it, it can be funny at times because you can trick people. It's like you have two sides of one experience. So, say if you went to a party, you, you're like in one area, you experience that part, that part. Well, he experiences the other part, and we can come together and talk about it. It's, it's interesting. Sometimes I'm thinking of a song, he is also thinking of it, so it's like funny in that that sense but in reality we don't think like the same thing at all sometimes you can be thinking of something completely different and I, 
and you can ask him if I'm thinking the same thing, and it wouldn't be the same. It's probably because people think um, twins think the same thing. It's because it's probably because they experience the same things as each other. So it comes down to like, oh, are you thinking about this? And it would probably be the same because we have like a similar mindset. What about you, man? To be honest, I don't think people can handle two of me, but the twins are surely a great duo. Yeah. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Marilyn. And I'm V. Keep it classy, Springdale. <laughs>